you know, I can't, I don't teach brand new salespeople how to sell cars. Okay, I work with veteran sales teams and management for the most part. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday, I work with 50 managers from an organization in Atlanta. All right, I don't teach new people because what I teach is fairly advanced stuff. Okay, there's some fundamentals that haven't changed, but when we get into presenting the numbers and handling objections and overcoming those objections, it's stuff that most of you will have never seen before or heard of before, unless you've seen my videos. All right, but um, it's the little things that make a great big difference. All right, let's continue on this page. Um, objective, visit the customer's vehicle as soon as possible for the following reasons. Uh, Joel, read me the first three. Where are my objective, got you. The early trade walk is best time to gain, gain rapport building information. Okay, stop right there. All right, now if you walk out to my car today, even though I've only had it for eight or 900 miles, you'll see dog hair. You'll see golf stuff. You'll also see bumper stickers, okay, which will give you a clue as to my political leanings. Let me give you the least tame one. When in the history of the world did the climate not change? Okay, so you get an idea of what to talk about or what not to talk about. All right, good. Next one. Number two, the early trade walk is the best time to discover the equipment that is most important to the customer. Ask me that question. What equipment is most important to me? Ask it. What kind of equipment are you looking at in the next vehicle you're purchasing, sir? No, not the next vehicle. What worth the trade now? Oh, yeah. What what's most what, what equipment do you have on this vehicle that you like the most? Well, because I have a dog, Joel, I, I gotta have leather. Sure. Okay. okay. Um gotta have Bluetooth because I spend a lot of time on the phone. Need a power lift gate because I'm in and out of that thing all the time. Um, I want blind spot coverage, I want a rear camera, I want a front end mitigation, I want stuff that'll keep me from running into stuff. Adaptive cruise, I use it religiously when I'm on the highway. So you, you, you're getting clues, right? Sure. Hell, you're not getting clues, I'm telling you exactly what I need on my next car. Correct. Okay, next one. Number three, the early trade walk is the best time to help the customer gain a realistic rather than inflated idea about the value of their trade. When I see dings and dents, I'm not gonna say what happened, how did that, who gives a shit? I'm gonna say you got dings and death like everybody else in the state of Tennessee. Okay, happens to all of us. I hate it, but it does. And then I want to attach a dollar value to the damage. How, have you looked into what it would cost to get a ding or dent fixed? Does anybody get dings and dents fixed? No. There, I think 1% of the population actually pays for a paintless dent repair from time to time. So nobody knows. So I say 50 or 60 for the small ones, up to 150 for the big ones. You got like six or seven. And then I go into, if you had a painless dent repair policy, your car would be worth a lot more because you wouldn't have any of these things. Okay? Scraped up wheels, same thing. Key fob, same thing. Crack in the windshield, same thing. All right? I'm never going to trash the customer's car, but I want them to understand that the condition matters because it does. Um, all right. Uh, Jamie, pick, up, uh, pick it up at four. Read four, five, and six. The early trade walk is the best time to learn about the customer's driving habits and lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, you'll learn exactly how I use my vehicle. You learn, I'm a, I'm a golfer, I'm a dog guy, I fly a lot. Um, it, it, it's, these are little things that not only help you build rapport, but they also are going to do a better help you do a better job of showing off the Pathfinder. Next one. The early trade walk is the best time to create value in your F&I benefits. We do, not, we do not want to sell, just make them aware of their options. The sell consultant should be an advocate for all products and services. Yeah, you should speak highly of your service department, your parts department. You guys have a body shop? No, we don't. Okay. I mean, advocate for everything your store does. Because the closer your customer stays tied to this dealership once they buy the vehicle, what does that do to your chances of helping them buy their next vehicle? So it increases the uh, by 17 times, okay? If I have my service work done here, if I buy my parts here, if I buy my aftermarket stuff here, I'm 17 times more likely to buy my next vehicle at this store. 